Great. Hello, Great. citizens of the wide, wide world of web. If you're an actor, you probably know that you need reels online. Most actors have clips that they've collected for themselves. They need to put them on Vimeo or YouTube. But a lot of people, when they put those videos up there, they don't do it in the best possible quality. So I'm going to show you how to export clips from iMovie, since I know a lot of you are using iMovie to edit your clips. And I'll show you the best settings for Vimeo and YouTube and how to make it happen. It's really, really simple. Uh, here's what you do. In iMovie, once you've edited your project down, you're going to come up here to the top and click Share. You're going to click Export using QuickTime. I know there's an option for Export Movie and you can select YouTube, that kind of thing. We're not going to do that because we're going to make a file that has high quality settings that can be used for any video site. Okay? So instead of Export Movie, you're going to Export using QuickTime. And here are the settings that you're going to use. Over here on the right hand side, click Options. And under Video, click Settings. We want to select H.264 Frame Rate Current. We want to keep it exactly the same as it is. Over here on the right, Data Rate. We're going to click Restrict To and we're going to type in 5000. That's a number that's good for HD videos. Uh, back over here on the left, you shouldn't need to touch this. Keyframes should be probably every 24 frames and frame reordering. Just don't touch those settings. So all you need is current frames per second. Uh, underneath, down here on the bottom, best quality. I'm going to have that selected. Click OK. Under filter, I like to turn on sharpen to 1, least amount of sharpening. It makes some slightly fuzzy videos just a little bit sharper. Click OK. Under size, this is really important. Dimensions should be at the maximum HD, right? 1280 by 720. That's what we want to upload. Most videos are going to look great online with that setting. Preserve aspect ratio using crop if required. So it might say letterbox. We don't want that option. We actually want crop, okay? Um, De-interlace source video. You shouldn't need to check that. Um, most videos now you won't need to use this option. If your video is old and it's coming from something that was made before HD, then you would use this de-interlace source video. Click OK. Down here under sound, settings should be format, AAC, channels left and right, rate should be 48.000. Click show advanced settings. You want to make sure that's clicked because it might not be. Uh, down here under the bottom, quality best, average bitrate, target bitrate, this is very important, should be 320. That's going to give you high quality sound. Click OK. Uh, right here where it says prepare for internet streaming, we actually do not want that clicked. Turn that off. And then click OK. That'll bring you back to this file name. Name the file whatever you want, click Save, and you'll see iMovie start to export the project. Depending on how big your video is, this is going to take a while. When it's done, you should have a high quality video that you can use to export for Vimeo, YouTube, or anywhere else online. Hope that was helpful.